sharing the stories, he shares the third with uh, Lord Velasco. And the uh, mothers will be the majority of people. Uh, I try to distance myself from the the apparently effect. It's time. So, no, no, no. That is it. It's very secretary, so the and other members of the cabinet are newly appointed officials from different government agencies and government-owned and controlled corporations, other things as ladies and gender. I congratulate and thank our newly appointed government officials for taking on the important challenge and the answer answering the call of public service. Keep in mind that the oath that each of you took today, took today is not a mean ceremony that qualifies you to assume public office. The oath is your sacred pact with the Filipino people. The fact that they expect all of you to faithfully fulfill your respective terms. I welcome you to this administration for the stern reminder that your very first task is to help me restore and preserve. I welcome you to this administration for the stern reminder that your very first task is to help me restore and preserve our people's faith and trust in the government. You are here because I believe that you have the qualifications and the capability to steer our government agencies into the right direction. I cannot stress this enough. Our noble duty is to serve our country with the highest standard of moral integrity. As public officials under this administration, you are called to uphold good governance and embody efficiency, transparency, accountability, and in your dealings with the bureaucracy. I therefore expect that each of you will treat your appointment not as an honor, but as an opportunity to lead and serve and effect real change, positive change in our country. An instrumentality of our government. But a dependable and reliable government is not enough. We are here to ensure that the bureaucracy is free of corruption and other illegal activities. Your primary goal is therefore to help me in realizing our goal of eliminating the ill that have weakened, weakened the people to act and to complain what's going on. May your pursuit in this goal inspire you to set aside your own personal interest. For the sake of the common good, let the value of our people and the improvement of their lives become your first priority. I therefore ask you to join me as we forge a government that is not just capable but also sincere in achieving a better life and a brighter future to all Filipinos. Together, let us embark on this noble task. Congratulations at mabuhay kayong lahat. That is for the records of Malacanian. Now is what I would like to say to you. Maybe I am the first president to publicly express 
that I regretted running for the presidency. I admit I said it out of sheer frustration. Not because I wanted to escape from the burdens that I took to challenge, but simply because corruption is embedded in all sa lahat. Kaya sabi ko, hindi ko kaya. Told the military, hindi ko kayang habulin. And said the other, four days ago, I accepted the resignation of the DSIS. Alam mo, ang masakit talaga sa akin ganito, Marami naman, you know, Sal has been predicting my presidency since uh, yung column niya that uh, the next uh, president would be Duterte. On the Dutch, yeah. And the others. Miguel Dia was also si Kababaya and kept on going back and forth to Davao. And a host of other, pati military men. Ako naman, si... I don't know what happened. Tumakbo naman ako, alam naman ninyo. So, baski tanungin ko ko ngayon, kayo ba talaga naniwala manalo ako? Maski ako, nagtaka yan. Ba't yun ay won? Tinanong ko sa Diyos. Wala naman kayong partido, yung PDP o sa Boromond, Moribond, uh, party. Nabuhay lang yung tumakbo ako. Wala akong suporta. I mean Marcos, then si Abed Garcia, then si Velasco, kasi kaibigan kami. No? Tapos down sa kay ko. Dahil brad ko sa, sa paternity and some other guys dito sa Luzon think vegan. Kasi brad ko rin. Kasi ba yun, napasubo na. But in the Visayas where I come from, at least my genealogy, wala ako na isa baski barangay captain, baski tanod, the whole of the Visayas. Mindanao, well, of course, uh, tagaroon ako. Ang sumuporta lang sa akin doon, si Subiri, pati si, yung anak. Ano po, si Carlo Nograles. Uh, kasi, pamangkin ko yan. Pinsan ko ang nanay niya. Yun lang ang... Uh, wala ba talaga akong pera? Pero kung sabihin kong walang dumating after meron, So yan, ang, ako, parang si, I, I, maybe I was uh, too naive na ko, taposin ko ang droga. And I thought that this was just in the dimension like the vow. But I brought along my chief of police, Bato, who is now a senator. Tapos ko buksan mo yung records dyan sa... Gobyerno about drugs. Ko lahat at nakita mo so many generals of the police and a number of barangay captains and mayors kasali. I remember coming here during the time of uh, President Ramos We were called by Alunan. Buhay pa na ba dyan? At tanongin ninyo. He was called sa DEA sa Amerika. And he was told that at the rate that uh, this country is being swallowed by drugs, they would not be surprised that in a few years, we would be in narco state. Just like Sinaloa in Mexico, Colombia, and the rest of the. So no one pa, 
Grabe na, but uh, ang tingin ko, kaya ako tumakbo rin eh. In between the years, yun. You could only, may isa, dalawa, tatlo, big bus. But there was never a sustained campaign. So one of my promises, actually, was crime, droga, then corruption. Then that I would, I was not quite sure where I would go kung manalo ako because I was, hindi ko alam ang relation ko kay Xi Jinping. Kasi may away nga, they were driving the, the fishermen. And I needed the arms which were denied to us by the United States. Tapos ang, ang Marawi was talagang umuusok na. Uh, lahat ng intelligence would indicate that they were passing arms to everybody. So, one big huge uh, laboratory ng ano yan, drugs. So it was up, no yun ha, it was when the police tried to serve a warrant of arrest against a Mao, uh, Maoti for a crime of uh, Tung Sashebo. Uh, they were met with a gunfire. So the Marines came in, and on that day, nine of my Marines uh, died sa Pandi. It was drugs. Well, there was also the rebellion, itong ISIS. Uh, convoluted na yan eh. Uh, kaya nung ano ko, sabi ko, if you destroy my country, I will kill you. Wala kong ibang slogan ni Ring eh. I have to strike fear. Not really yung totohana na you slaughter, but I, I had to inject something there. So if you continue with this uh, production, of, you will kill our children, make them inutil, I will kill you. But I don't know if I did kung pinatay ko la o hindi. Ang makasabi niyan, ang human rights, hindi naman ako nagbibilang. But, uh, yun ang una po. Pagditang dito sa korupsyon, halos lahat yung tumulong sa akin noong tumakbo ako ng mayor, 1988. They were with me during the presidential campaign. And to my lament, Nung nanalo ako, magbayad ako ng otang na loob. Pinwesto ko, halos lahat. But ang nangyari naman, sila ang pumasok ng korabsan. So I had to remove. Na nakita ko na that lahat, the entire echelon sa ano, puro korabsan. Kaya one day, nagsabi ako, uh, there was this, uh, kagaya ngayon, after this, may command conference ako. Galing ako sa Nayong Pilipino. I don't know what happened, but they awarded a portion of the lander to itong galaxy to allow them to set up a gambling casino. So nagalit ako, kasi ngayong Pilipino nga, bakit mo lagyan ng, ano without a bidding, bakit mo lagyan ng sugalan? So I was mad. At pagdating ko noon sa baba, doon naman sa military, pati police, nakikita ko yung report ni Dominguez, tinulak sa akin, nakita ko na yung ghost delivery sa AFP. So I had to fire the generals na. Kaya doon ako na walaan ng gana. And sabi ko sa kanila, kung ganito lang naman ang laro pala natin, nandyan si Defense Secretary, si Executive Secretary, if the major commanders sa ating armed forces, pati si Agbayal, di sa police, 
will stand up or step down today as president. Another time, my presentation, and there was this complaint na about two years na pending. Sinabi ko, give me something that is abbreviated. Pagdating doon sa cabinet, he presented about Sabi ko, iyang procedure na yan, that protocol or modality, is not intended for me. It is intended to the next, or the next after the next president. Kung ganon, requirements, pabalik-balikin mo sa karami, clearance dito, clearance doon, every clearance sa opisina, tag isang buwan, magti-three years na lang ang naiwan, gusto kong magmura, pero maya na lang pag wala na kayo. Kaya I'm trying now to do a very risky and uh, maybe unreasonable. Sabi ko, one month kayong lahat. Director, it's 15 days. If you cannot do it, just simply resign. Wala na ba? May mga computer kayo na. If you need an ocular inspection, by all means, you go there. You have a month to go. Pero kung ganitong pabalik-balikin ninyo, just like in the local governments, punta ka doon sa register of... I mean, that is Justice Department. Punta ka nandoon sa mga titulo mo, walang kopya, walang lahat. Ay pobot. Kung gano'n na lang ang istorya, uh, sunogin na lang natin itong gobyerno nito. Paski ang permit, noon sa aking panahon, three days because kailangan pa ng engineer. Uh, ngayon sa lugar ko, sa siyudad ko, it's only one hour. So lahat doon may mesa nga. Kung saan yung ano, nandoon kayong lahat, yung representative you with the computer, and they can just compute at sabihin nila na okay to. Why do they have to go to and mag-queue under the heat of the sun? Yan ang ayaw ko. Hindi sa pang ano, ayaw ko lang. As a matter of, ay ayaw ko. Hindi ako nagpapadrama na awa ako. Basta ayaw ko. Period. Huwag na namang mas mabuti ganoon diretso. Ngayon, yung mga pumasok ng tagilid na kontrata, bidding, tapos wala. Uh, I will just advise you to resign. And it will be repeated and repeated and repeated. I hope that you really do it in utter, in utter good faith. Total, hindi naman makulang ang gobyerno. Nandiyan naman. Ako sabihin ko sa inyo, Publicly, ang tinatanggap ko lang dito, pagka-presidento ko, 200,000. May dalawang asawa ako. So yung 100 magpunta doon sa isa, yung isa ang 100. Wala na nga maiwan. Mabutit na lang, libre ang kain ko dito, ang uwi ko, pati tulugan ko. Magtanong kayo baski saan, sa COA, wala kayong ma... I do not allow transactions involving public funds, documents, or whatever on my table. Huwag ninyo akong isali. It is up to the department secretary to sort that out. It begins and ends in your department. Do that with me, with that. Ayaw ko. Gusto ko, pag alis ko dito, nising ko, sintabos, wala kayong madukot sa bolso. And that is true until today. Wala akong extra expenses. I do not sign anything that gives me an additional five pesos of what I receive. Ganon rin ako kahirap. 
Pero tiniis ko yan. Kasi, nandyan eh. Pero, just to make sure na wala kayong masabi sa akin. At saka wag kayong magbulong ng transaction sa akin. I do not like it. And most likely, you will offend me. Ganon, bakit? Why am I so strict? Well, ako, fiscal dati. Panahon namin, wala pa yung ombudsman. It was known as a tanod ba yan, Ander Gonzalez. Na fiscal ako, then I became a special prosecutor for the tanod ba yan. Eh, alang-alang naman, magtindig ako balang araw ngayon, magtindig dyan sa ombudsman for well, okay ang extrajudicial killing. Huwag lang yung korupsyon. Ngayon, kaya nga pinag-iiwasan ko yan. I do not in there, no, is, there is no entitlement in I, I, I refuse to accept awards. My reason is simple. Bayad ako. Do not give me plaques or anything out of recognition. I'm exactly just a worker of government working for the people. At ang sildo ko tamang. I do not need hallelujahs because tapos na ako dyan. 23 years ako ng mayor. Sawa na ako yan sa mga clapping of the hands. O yung sigaw. It does not mean anything to me at all. Gusto ko lang magtrabaho at magtrapaspasan para madali itong three years. Kaya sana magkaya Usap tayo ngayon na uh, try to be circumspect, avoid yung mga ngayon na... Uh, kasi sa... I'd like to make a... Huwag naman sana magalit lahat. Alam mo yung Philippines, marami kang makita ang magandang bahay. Customs, BIR... Gobernador, mayor, kung magagandang ba yan? Wala namang tuwing mga negosyo. Pero pag makita mo yan, pati generals, kita mo, ganda ng bahay, kotse, subdivision, galing goberno, ah, director ng ano, potang ina sa anong pera na yan. Galing sa tao yan. Kaya ganito tayo. Ito yung drugs. Yung mga mayor, tinawag ko na sila dito. Dito. Tapos, pinasira ko. Sabi ko sa kanila, huwag kayong pumasok sa droga. Do not do it because I will kill. Yung hindi sumunod. Ewan ko, buhay pa man siguro hanggang ngayon. Pati yung putang inang loot na yung general ng polis. Nakita ko siya na yun, ikaw putang ina ka, isa ka pa. Strison actually. Polis general ka, papasok ka ng gano'n. Dalawang beses na inambos ang buang. Buhay pa rin. Pangatlo. Gago. Pumasok ng ganun. Ayaw mo niwala. Hindi siguro nasanay. Kasi probinsyano ako. Pag sinabi ko po, tangina mo, huminto ka niya. Pag hindi, alam ko, hindi nakito. Hindi. 
Kasi wala akong panahon sa Pilipino. Prosecute. Tapos dismiss. Korap lahat halos. Prosecutors. Hindi naman lahat, pero halos. Judges. Ilang, ilang 1,000 cases dumaan sa sala niya. Ni wala isang conviction. It's either napakabobo naman yung putang inang piskal na yan, o talagang tumatanggap ka ng pera. Hindi mo mahabol eh. You have to build cases. Paano mo mag you? You have to catch it with the bribery. Ito namang siya bo, it must be in the possession. Kaya ang paborito ngayon is uh, plea to a lesser offense. Kaya kung nahuli ng ilang kilo, sabihin na lang nila, o oh, possession na lang. Possession, uh, below six, six years below, ma-probation ka. Pag-probation, balik na naman. Anong gawin mo? Pero magsabi ng isa sa akin, patayin mo na lang. Sabi ko wag kasi magalit ang human rights. Garo tayo ngayon. Kaya, we have to change the Constitution. Whether federal or what not. Sabi ko doon sa tatlo, kinausap ko, si Speaker, and that is Cayetano, uh, Bilasco, we will be assuming on the, sa term sharing, maybe kung buhayin pa siya, maabutan pa niya, tapos si majority for leader, sabi ko. If you want to change the Constitution, do it now. And jump pa ako. And I can tell the military, no, 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 you better. Uh, kasi ang military mainit na. And I've told you all the corruptions sa gobyerno, ang pinakamalaki nandyan sa itaas. Hindi may tubig. Ito, kung hindi ako nagsabi, putang ina ninyo, pag dadating ako bukas, pag wala pang tubig, gagawa ko gari po yung tiig mo. Bakit may tubig? So what is this country? I will allow the congressman to dig. And you will find out that all of the contracts that are anti-people are in the hands of the stupid filthy rich. Pati yung airwave, telco, kasi napakahina itong put. Sabi ko, you need another one. The competition will be good. Kaya nga, maraming ano na corruption. Jesus Maria said. So yung airway, binibigay ng gobyerno yung libre. Ano, ano, mga Pilipino, the likes of Ong Pin, you know, yung make projections. Bibilihin nila yan. What, they have the... So pagdating ng panahon ng cellphone, dumating na, tapos gusto ko i-award sa third, third player, sabi sa akin ng si Rio, yung John Rio sa kamin. Magpabaya daw sila ng 2 billion. Oh, kami sa kamin niya, sabi ko, putang ina sabihin mo sa kanila. Akyating ko sila sa buhay sa pisina nila. Binigayan libre. Isa uli mo sa akin libre. Huwag mo akong do not. Ngayon may ceremony. Ayaw ko nga eh. Kasi may nanalo na award and certificate of public uh, convenience and necessity. That's a... Uh, pero nandyan naman daw yung ano. Sabi ko, sige. Ayaw, ayaw ko mag, magharap ng mga ganun. Baka si IAS na lang. And uh, lahat ng alos kabinet ko, medyo tabla na kayo dyan. No? Ilan ba yung military dyan? Marami na gawin dyan. 15 na kayo? 
de su gabinete. Kailan kayo magkudita? Kasi ako na ang mag-ano dito sa iyo. I'm addressing the military. All of you guys. <laughs> Gusto niyo magkudita? Sabi niyo ka Dilpin. Huwag kayong magdardala ng mga tanke niya. Toys for the boys. You do not scare me a bit. Kasi ako, gusto ko. Kahit gusto ninyo, hindi si. Linya niya. Si Delpen ang sa gitna. Siya mo ang Delpen. Ay, ay. John Lorenzana. No. Herboy na. We are now ruling the country by military junta. Good. Then do it. Alam mo kasi kung bakit military ang kinukuha ko. Kasi yan nga eh. Sa bureaucracy, may proposal ka, didibatihin ka pa sa director kung ano, antagal. Pagdating mo doon sa inyo yung director mo, nagkain, yung pala nagdiretso na doon sa mall, kasama yung kabit ng putang ina niya, nagpasyal-pasyal na. So they don't act on the paper. Eh ang military, pag sinabi ko, gawain mo yan, nasana yan sila, structural na. Pag may respeto sila sa tao, talagang susunurin yan. Walang korupsyon, ha? Uh, Burakay. Sabi hindi, imposible. Sabi ko niyo. Sabi ko kay Anyo, pati General Anyo, pati General Simato, linisan niyo. O itong, sabi ng mga isda ngayon itong the cleaning of uh, Manila Bay, okay na lang yung isda banda roon. Nagkikita nilang tumatalon. Kaya it's a matter of ano, ang, hindi ako sabihin mo na natatakot I ingratiate myself with the military. Why should I? You are the ones who elected me. The people elected me. But sabi ko, ay, ano ako sa military? Kasi isang salita lang. Yan. Ngayon kung ituloy ng kudita yan, eh, bahala kayo. Kaya ako, gusto ko na mag... Sabi ko, I am so frustrated. I regret running kasi hindi ko talaga mahabol. Every table dyan sa opisina of uh, whatever department but the table of significance maski mag-check lang. That is how it's like a turtle. Uh, a tortoise. Parang gano'n. It travels ever so slow. So matapos na lang ako, wala akong Mabotit na lang, one, uh, lahat, si Villar is also good. Kita mo may yung road network niya, pati yung sa taas. EDSA? You, you can improve the EDSA with Ilaway? Bago akong presidente, sabi ng mga planners ko, we need to have money. The president needs to be equipped with emergency powers. Anong sinabi ng isang senador? Na, ah, okay to po, delikado to ha? Kasi malaking pera to, baka makurakot. Putang ina. Kung yan ang sinabi mo, sabi ko, never mind. Let Ed Sarat. Ah, Taitiis kayo. You elected officials na whose morals are out of the bounds. And they think that they have, ang morality is solo nila. Ayan ang mahirap. Lahat na tumatakbo, kurakot, ay pot. Putris na yan. Ako, gusto ko lang matapos na Simple lang, trabaho lang tayo. Mm, military, dublado na ang sweldo. Why? Because they are the ones ready to die. If something breaks out in Marawi or in Hulo, I tell them you go to the mouths of hell and die. And come back so that we can bury you with your family. Crying beside you your carcass. 
So, kung magbait tayong lahat, baka may increase of, pero sa amin, it does not, yung increase sa aming panahon will not apply. Kung gawain ninyong 1 million yung sildo ko, ang next president ang will benefit. Ako, wala. Because it will not apply to incumbents. So, wala rin. I cannot, I don't know about the rank and file. Pero yung presidente talagang hindi pwede. Ayan lang, nagayaw-ayaw ako dito because of yung corruption. Kindly avoid it. Because until now, I have fired about five cabinet members, Brad ko, classmate ko, tapos, masakit. Kaya lang, it's not easy na, you resign, you are dismissed. Ayaw kong, mag, ano, I cannot even bring myself. I have to take a deep breath about five times before I can, before I can utter putang ina mo naman. Sa karamihan ng bakit ginawa mo pa. Yun. So, yun ang meron tayong pagong gusto ninyo malaman ang message ko sa kanya. Sabi ko, well, It's time for me to talk. I do not have to elaborate. Munta sila dito, pinatawag. This has to stop. I will now talk. I do not enjoy it. I avoided it. Pukita mo naman, it's uh, creating so much uncertainty and so much. I'll now talk. So, pinesto ko na. Message, kindly avoid corruption. If you not believe me, ask them. And there are some military men present. You go into corruption, mag-aaway tayo. First of all, you might want to explore the possibility of changing the... Kayo na. No, may, may tao pa magsabi sa military, sandali lang. We'll try what is uh, anything that is good for the country. Mainit na ang military. Because of the contracts, papasok man kayo sa gobyerno. Then you'd be able to have an opportunity to sort out the agreement. It's so horrendous. Kasi sabi ko, inulod ko yung report noong una, hindi ko sila hindi ko binigay sa military baka mag I don't know magalit baka mawala ng gana mag pakamatay sa bayan niya pero all of you will have a chance to see how it really operates in in government so try to stop it total sabihin mo lang naman pagdating sa iyo not me wag mo akong isali diyan Okay na. Yun lang ang hinihingi ko. Total. Maganda naman yung mga sapatos niya. May, may pera na. Titingnan ko. Puro na kasyain. Ang uh, alahas wala siguro masyadong display. Pero alam ko that uh, Siguro well off, kaya ninyo. You do not need any extra money for get it. Kasi mag-aaway lang eh. But if you have, kaya ng pulis, if you are right, ganito kasi ang Pilipino eh, sinasabi ko. And unlike the Americans, Filipinos are not assertive. Pag magpunta lang doon sa ano, clearance, tapos uh, sabihin pabalik-balikin, o hingian ng pera, wala lang. Eh, parang, bigay, bigay. That's a way of life. 
Kaya sabi ko kayo mga Pilipino, listening to me now. Be assertive. Pag hinihingihan ka ng ano, putang ina mo, Pilipino ako, nagbabayad ako ng buwis, or at least nagbibili ako ng mga bagay. Ang taxes pumupunta sa, sa bulusa ninyo. Sweldo ninyo. So huwag ninyo akong... Ano lang? Tapos sampalin mo. Polis mag sampalin mo. Tapos magsumbong ka sa akin. There's an 888. So kung itawag mo lang dyan, name the person. Never mind about libel. I'll take care of that. Name the person. It's gonna be shown all over the Philippines. Pumunta ko dito, hiningan ako ni Rodrigo Duterte para ano. Then I'll call him. Dali lang yan. Patawag lang kita dito. Gusto mo nang... Hindi ako nag-iibang, pero ako yun, ako lang ang presidente hanggang ngayon na nabubukbog. <laughs> Ay, tanong yung biyan sila. What is worth kung ikaw mahilig ka? Gusto mo ng pera. Mas putang ina, mahilig ka sa pera. So, wala mo na mong pera. Biyo mo ang pera, yan sila. Biyo mo ang pera, be. Okay, no. Kainin mo. Kainin mo. Mili kita. Itapon kita sa pasig na katali. O kainin mo yung pera. What do you want? Humiliation? O you... Tapos sabihin ko, ewan ko, naligo mo lang yan kanina. Bakit? Tinalayan niya sarili niya. Baka ang Coast Guard siguro. Well, it's a joke. It's not a joke. But that is uh, how I operate. Might not really be going, eh, ah, Duterte. O naman yan, magbubugbog, parang polis. Hindi statesman. <laughs> Kailan pa ba ako nag-aral ng statesman? Naikot ko na itong Manila noon. College of law, wala bang statesman. Hindi mo rin ako nagpunta ng Amerika. Wala mang... Basta nalaman ko lang na magtrabaho lang tayo. Alam mo guys, the problem with me is, dinala ko yung pagka-mayor ko dito sa presidency. Mga sabi niya, hindi may sa dapat mamutang ina, gano'n. Eh, yan ang bunga nga ako, paano? Maggalit ako, sabi ko talaga. Kasi nasanay ako doon sa putang ina po, hindi mo hanggang papatayin kita. Patay nga ako. Oh, Pwede ba ito sinabi ko sa iyo? Kuminto ka. O dito, ayawang ko. Kayo yan? Well, anyway, uh, if you are right or in the right and you are uh, forced to do a wrong, resist it and report it to me. My house doon sa the across. Kung gabi, Tawagan mo lang si Senator Bongo. Wala mo si Senator dito. Saan si Bongo? Hindi ka siya marunong magpasalamat sa mga tao. Pero mga saya, is a graduate of Lasal. Hindi, mayroon pa ano yan. Mautak yan. Diyan ako bilib kasi magpinta yan dito lang. Bang magkano gano'n ito gusto siya niya, ano, ilang porsento. Mag... Oh, totoo. Totoo, totoo, totoo. Sige, pagkintahin mo sa example sa iyo. <laughs> Bang, diyan diyan ka tindig. Magbaw ka lang dyan sa salamat. So, ayan, uh, you can, six years yan. So, makita ninyo. And uh, sabihin ko sa'yo, I take full responsibility if they go wayward. Bato, 
Fundamentally honest yan. I'm using the word fundamentally kasi itong sa mga pulis. Alam mo na, pag may nasolve sila ng crime, magpadala yung mga offended parties ng lechon, itatanggap yun talaga nila yan. Bakit mo naman hindi tanggap yun, papasalamat. Yung mga ganon, alam ko, pero kung sabihin mo ito si Bato maghingi, lahat ng chief of police na dumaan sa Davao, matino talaga yan. Or at least titino. Ngayon ay si Koy, si Morente sa o si Garek sa custom. Puro ko kaibigan yan. Dumaan kasi ng Mindanao. Garek was once task force Davao. Naging task force Davao yan. Kaya kilala ko sila lahat. Ba't hindi ko kilala yung dumaan lang in the course of their ganon ang military paikot yan eh. Pati itong PSG ko no? there are about 1,000 plus. Kaya magsabi mag kudita kudita itong ina. Sabi mo pakakurne naman ninyo eh puro yung sundalo ilaban ko rin sa sundalo ko. Eh puro ko sundalo ito. Tama yung ginawa ni Marcos pati ni Strada. Bakit ko pa away yung putang inang sundalo ko at laban sa isang sundalo? Para ka buang. Ay dapat, sabi mo, eh, 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 sandali, alis na ako. Para ako na, ay ako, sinabi ko sila ka, ako gusto ko, umalis na eh. Sige, magkulita kayo dyan, kayo, uwi na ako. Pagod na ang putang. Tapos hindi pa hinto itong corruption. Kasi sabi ko lang, nandito na itong may, may apat pa. And this week, customs na naman. Ubusin ko talaga yan. Sabi nila, hindi makontrol ang corruption. Eh, tingnan natin. Sige, tig- sige nga, tingnan natin. Okay, sa ako yan si Garik, military yan. Tax force daw nga. Sabi ko, barilin mo. O, total... Magreklamo, pero matagal man yan. By the time mag-convicted ka, patay ka na. Ubusin mo yan mga put. So yun lang, medyo magsawa. May pagkain para sa kanila. May pagkain. Ulam, lagi ako nakita. Na, na, nakita ko yung chef eh. Anong ulam? Kaya magkain rin ako doon sa likod. So, I'd like to say uh, congratulations. I'm happy that you have joined government. Uh, we consider ourselves uh, workers of government. We serve the people. My oath of office, I will reduce it in two sentences. To protect the people and preserve this nation. And I will do it. Pero sabihin mo, ano, pagka nasa tama ka, I will protect you. Pag, pagkagaya ng mga iba, yung mga gangster na sinabi ng mga in-check, kagaya nung si Yang, pinipilit na tinitignan ko yun. Because yung si Yang started this business 25 years ago sa Dabao. Pero alam na mo, in-check, di, may, may mga kotse na mga land cruiser. Kung nakikita ko, si Asierto, yung polis na nagpatay noong Koreano, kinidnap nilang Koreano, ihaw nila. Yung, yung grupo na yon, isang report lang talaga, isang intelligence lang, consistent. Eh, natalimutan na mga unggoy, piskal ako. Sabi ko, kung sana, kung ikaw, may galing NICA, may galing ESAP, may galing CIS, polis, yun, pero kung isa lang, mag-build up ka ng kaso, tapos isa lang ang tinuturo mo, ikaw lang rin. Sabi ko kasi ito, itong putang ito, kikinapin itong incheck na ito. Maghihingi ito ng pero. Pagkatapos patayin. Yan yung mga style ng... I, I hope that ito. Pero huwag kayo matakot dito sa putang ina. Sumbong lang sa akin kung sino mag... Totoo, sipain ko yan dito sa harap mo. Ah, hindi ko lang 
Pere, pakain ko yung pera sa kanya. Huwag kayong matakot ng ano. It's about time that you, you, you are freed of itong mga ito. Eh, itong mga gangster, ako nang bahala niya. Dandahan niya, maubos ito sa three years, ubos yan. Maubos ito. Niwala ka. Ngayon, kita mo, medyo mababa ang crime. And I promise though, I will return the public streets, the, the, the alleys, and the boulevards, and you can walk freely. Sigurado yan. Pag, yan ang order ko sa polis. Ask your wife and your daughter to walk about here in Manila at night. If they come home unmolested, unbridled, unhurt, yun ang standard. Yun ang sundin ninyo. Alam na ninyo kung sino yung you know, who are causing this trouble. Take care of them. Because you have to protect the people and preserve this country. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your message. We shall now proceed with a photo-taking opportunity. At yan po naging talumpati ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa oath-taking ceremony ng mga bagong talagang government officials. Inanunsyo po ni Pangulong Duterte ang term sharing ni Nantaking Representative Alan Peter Cayetano at Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco sa pagka-House Speaker. Ayon pa sa Pangulo, si late Representative Martin Romualdez ang tatayong House Majority Leader. Ang mensahe pa niya sa mga upong uh, House Speaker ay kung nais daw baguhin ang konstitusyon, gawin na raw ngayon. At ang kanyang mensahe naman sa lahat ng mga uh, opisyal ng gobyerno, iwasan ang korupsyon. Ilan pa ho sa mga nabanggit ng Pangulo, ang kanyang muling pag-iit na dapat daw mabilis at epektibo ang pagproseso ng mga papeles at permit at kung hindi raw kaya na gawin ng leader nito ay dapat na daw siyang mag-resign. Hinihikayat niyang mag-resign na lang ang sino man. At higiniit din ng Pangulo na hindi umaabot daw sa kanyang lamesa ang anumang uh, mga transaksyon at ayaw din niya ng pagkilala o anumang mga papuri dahil siya daw ay sinusweldohan ng taong bayan. Na sabi pa ng Pangulo na okay lang ang extrajudicial killings, huwag lang daw ang korupsyon at hindi rin daw siya natatakot sa kudeta.